on a mission to transform his body since last year's Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Welcome to the year of Bryson DeChambeau. It's been pretty impressive to see the transformation he's been able to make. Initially when I started this process, I never thought I'd get anywhere near 200. There was just no thought in my mind. Like, okay, I maybe can gain 10 miles an hour or something like that. But I can get up to over 25 miles an hour faster than what I used to do last year. That's in one year. and I've surpassed all my goals on that. Transforming his body and his game, Bryson DeChambeau has reimagined the style in which golf can be played. Whenever I come up with an idea, there's a lot of thought process that goes into how I'm going to execute this plan. There's a lot of data-driven executions behind it. I, I really admire what Bryson's done. Mass times acceleration equals power, so I, I get the equation of what he's doing, and it's incredible to see. In 2019, he ranked 34th in driving distance on the PGA Tour, a statistic he committed to improve on. For me, when I'm not playing tournaments, I'm mainly trying to get stronger, and I'm also trying to figure out little biomechanical ways to make uh, a more efficient, more consistent swing. So working a lot on the body of trying to position certain parts of my body in a certain way to, to do certain things, and, and just trying to create more repeatable motion. People think that, like, I'm this guy doing math all day long like no I'm just trying to sense and experiment with how things are orientated to get it to produce a certain result um, you know so people think I'm a little different in that regard and uh, but when I'm in my off season like I am now I'm always just trying to find a more consistent way to swing the golf club you know pretty much just trying to figure out more and more of the game Bryson's interesting to me. I've known him for quite a while now, and everything that he does, he goes, you know, full throttle into. He's so talented, he could swing it any which way and probably, you know, win plenty of golf tournaments, and that's just his raw talent. But what separates him a bit is he's got it down to the nth degree to where when he's off, he's off by just small margins. With an average drive of 322 yards in 2020, Bryson led the PGA Tour in driving distance and strokes gained off the tee. It's massively different. Definitely learned a lot about the biomechanics of the swing, learned a lot about how to deal with things a little bit better, and just overall in general. From a ball striking perspective, I'm just a totally different person. Putting perspective as well, I've learned a lot there. And so it's been, it's been awesome. The distance gains were a huge part of Bryson's transformation, but his putting prowess helped him capitalize on the greens. Putting has been an interesting thing, and I feel like I could keep getting better each year, and that's what's happened. I've went from being the worst putter on tour to now I'm top 10 right now, which is pretty cool. And it's been a long process, but definitely taken some time to figure out. Bryson capped off the 2020 season with a victory and nine top 10 finishes. The reborn Bryson. En route to becoming a major champion to kick off the new season. It's been a heck of a ride for sure. And I'm still learning, every year I'm learning. I feel like I've got a totally different game, a totally different toolbox to be able to attack. I feel like there's some holes I can really take advantage of this year that I couldn't in previous years. And so we'll see how it plays out, but definitely the year has been amazing. The transformation has been amazing, and I hope to keep transforming not only me, but hopefully the sport. I hope that inspires a generation to come that's just gonna be cranking at the ball and hitting it straight. I think down the road that's what's gonna happen is you're just gonna see a lot bigger, better, stronger athletes, just like Tiger inspired me to. It's definitely a huge advantage to be able to hit it really far. Over time, distance is gonna win. It is transforming the sport in, into more of a, a strength competition, which is pretty cool. Years ago, Bryson DeChambeau knew the importance of strength in his game, and the distance he gained in the last season has marked history. DeChambeau gained nearly 19 yards in driving distance between the 2018-19 season and 2019-20 season, marking the largest increase in distance between ranked seasons of any player in the shot link era. Bryson by no means is short. It's just remarkable to see what's going on in this new era. The Shambo gonna give it a rip. 
He seems to like this one. Oh, it's miles down. That was smashed. 336 yards carry. While his gains are impressive, they were five yards more than the next largest increase, Tiger Woods from 2004 to 2005, just shy of 14 yards. Tiger's gains were only slightly more than Kevin Chappell's in the 2016-17 season. 